Good morning, happy new year. It is Monday, January 1st. We are getting ready to take Scout on a walk. He's so happy to be back and going to Central Park again. So we took him yesterday, we're gonna take him today and then I'm gonna head off to Whole Foods to pick up groceries for the week. And let's get into the day. Two bags worth of groceries. I'm gonna do a quick haul. First up, chicken for like the majority of our meals. Salad, stir fry for tonight, chicken and broccoli rice casserole. Then we already have pasta and tomato sauce, so I got ground beef to make spaghetti one night. A bag of apples for my um, chicken avocado apple salad strawberries and blueberries to put on top of my oatmeal. What else? Lettuce for my salad, of course. Broccoli for stir fry and broccoli for the chicken broccoli rice casserole. Avocados for my salad. Carrots for stir fry and an onion for stir fry green beans to go with our pasta, cream of chicken soup to put in the broccoli chicken rice casserole. And then lastly, new coffee beans. We had hot coffee every day made from like a pot while we were home in Texas and I'm really hooked on that right now. So I got coffee beans because we have a coffee maker and we should use it. This is my favorite creamer, the Califia Farms Oat Creamer, cinnamon roll flavored. It is so good. That's everything I got. Now we're gonna make breakfast and watch football, as you can see on our split screen in the background. All right, bye. I have another quick call. I had a $50 Abercrombie gift card from the Creator Suite that I had to use before the end of the year. So I placed a small order. I got three things and it got delivered before we got back and thankfully it didn't get stolen. So I'm gonna open it right now. Um, Everything I got is very simple and basic. But they were things I needed. So, first up, the sun is like right there. God, this is so soft. It's like the tank tops I have from Abercrombie that I love so much, but I got just a long sleeve version bodysuit. Um, I feel like this will be just so nice to have as a basic layer to wear under things or just by itself. It is truly so soft. And the front is double lined, which I am obsessed with. Next up, this is so thick. I did not think it was gonna be this thick. I thought it was gonna be just like basic. <laughs> um, but that's okay because it'll be really good for winter. It's another just simple black bodysuit. I think they have the same neckline too. The square neckline, yeah, they do. So they both have the square neckline, but this one is ribbed and it's like a sweater material. Yeah, and then the last one was kind of a wild card purchase. I also should mention I bought all of this during the sale and it ended up being like $70, I think, so I paid $20 extra, but I really liked all three things and I couldn't choose. I don't know how I'm gonna style this or what I'm gonna wear it with just yet. I think it'll be fun for summer, but also could potentially wear it this winter over something. I'm not sure, we'll have to figure it out. But it's this denim top, like tank top. I sized up, I got a large, thinking I might wear it over like sweaters and stuff. I don't know, I thought it was cute. They have it in a normal denim color, but I feel like I wear black more often and can just style it with more. So here she is, it zips all the way up the back, which will be nice if I do put it on over like sweaters and stuff. That is my Abercrombie haul. We were considering going to a bar to watch the college football playoffs tonight, but a lot of our friends are recovering from last night and it's such a late game. Texas plays at 8.45 Eastern, so we decided to stay home. We're making stir fry for dinner right now and we're watching Michigan Bama. And then we're gonna watch Texas in a little bit and that's our night. Let's cross our fingers for a Texas win. Hello, happy Tuesday. I am 
tired today. I ended up staying up until like midnight one last night for the Texas game, which unfortunately they lost literally in the last play of the game, but whatever. It's fine. There's always next year, but I have had two cups of coffee, which revived me a little bit. I ate my oatmeal with strawberries and blueberries. It is currently 11.04. I've just been working, getting caught up on emails this morning. I am actually so happy to be back at work. I just love my job so much. And while it was so nice to have a break, I am just really happy to be back and get back in the swing of things. And lots of exciting things are coming this year. It is almost 2 p.m. and I am working on writing a sizzle reel script and that obviously requires creativity and I just am hitting my afternoon slump and not feeling it right now. So since I didn't take a lunch break, I think I'm gonna take like 15, 20 minutes to do a really quick Peloton ride. Since we still have it and we cannot sell it no matter what we do or where we list it, I feel like we have to use it. <laughs> um, so we don't currently have the Peloton app. I don't know, I might, I might just go ahead and pay for it for this month. But I'm going to do a quick ride and see if that reinvigorates me for the rest of the day. My hair looks nuts right now, but I just did a 30-minute Taylor's version 1989 ride with Allie Love, who is my favorite instructor. And every time I get on the Peloton, I'm reminded of why I love it so much. And I'm going to stick with it this time. I went ahead and re-got the subscription for the actual bike, so... You're gonna hold me accountable vlog, but I feel so good. I'm sweaty, I'm definitely gonna have to shower tonight, but now I'm gonna get back to work and finish out the work day. It is a lot later and I am making dinner. Michael's on his way home right now and typically 2023 Ellie would have waited for Michael to get home because I'm making pasta, spaghetti specifically, and I am cooking the ground beef right now. But if you know me, then you know I have a very big ick about meat. I'd be such a good vegetarian if I like knew how to be a vegetarian. That said, it is ridiculous that I am almost 29 years old and can't cook meat for myself and I'm gonna change that this year. So I'm currently cooking the ground beef. Chicken is what really gets me so that's gonna be the real test but right now I'm cooking the ground beef and I'm doing a great job. So domestic. Things are getting out of control though, so I'll check back in in a minute. Big sleigh. I cooked the meat. Spilled, obviously. Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, It does not feel like Wednesday. I don't know what day it feels like, but it's not Wednesday. Not a lot going on today. I'm working from home, doing lots of laundry, as you can hear in the background. I'm drinking my coffee with my cinnamon roll creamer that is so good. I... I'm so sore from the Peloton. I forget that every time you like don't do it for a while and get back on, it <laughs> does not feel great. So I don't think I'm gonna do it today. I'm thinking my approach is gonna be maybe every other day. My goal is three times a week. That is totally doable. There are seven days in a week. I can do three out of seven. So maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday, depending on the soreness level. Uh, but either way, I feel really good about what I did yesterday and I think I'm gonna try to stick with it, we'll see. It's gonna be a pretty chill work day. Um, I'm making casserole for dinner. Nothing else too exciting is going on that I know of. So I'll check in if something pops up that I think is worth vlogging, but for now, I'm gonna get to work. It is a lot later. I just did a 15 minute yoga workout. I forgot to cancel my bar three subscription and it charged me for the whole year. So I guess I'm doing bar three for another year. I'll do Peloton tomorrow, but I'm feeling good. Two days in, two workouts. It was only 15 minutes, but I feel like that's all I needed in a day. That was perfect, and it felt so good to stretch and just get some movement in. Hi guys, I didn't check in this morning because it's another day where I'm just working and nothing that exciting is going on. But I am checking in to report that I did a Peloton ride today during my lunch break and it felt so good. I did a 30 minute ride with Emma Lovewell. It was the top 50 like Peloton songs of the year. I did 10 through number one. 
and it was a great workout, felt good, and I'm back in my Peloton era, kind of, maybe. We are in our healthy girl era. I used to be good about taking vitamins. I did care of a long time ago when we lived in our old apartment and carried that through here for a little bit and then I did Ritual for a few months, but honestly, no Tino Shade. Didn't really notice a difference with Ritual. Admittedly, user error because I was not consistent about taking it, so I'm open to giving it another try, but I wanted something fast and I wanted to action on it immediately before I just didn't and then I never got back on the train. I asked my coworkers for some recommendations and they sent me some really good ones. A lot of Athletic Greens fans might try that. Um, Thorn was mentioned and then just a lot of other supplements. So I'm gonna look into those, but for general vitamins, I placed an Amazon order. First up, Ollie Women's Multi. It has A, C, D, E, Bs, biotin, and folic acid. Ooh. The biotin will help with my hair, which I really want to grow. So I got these. I'm gonna take one of these a day, two of these a day. I got a prebiotic and a probiotic. I feel like I just need to be better about taking a prebiotic and probiotic, more so probiotic. And these had really great reviews. So I think I can take this now and then I'll take it in the morning. Yeah, it says no food or water necessary. So I'll take it now and then I'll take it in the morning when I start my regular vitamin routine. But I am gonna try to be really good about taking both of these daily and then the other supplements that my coworker suggested, I'm gonna order those and be good about those too. I should say one of the like biggest parts of the reviews for this probiotic were that the, they're gummies and they are supposed to taste really good, but they're like peach flavored and I don't like artificially flavored fruit things. Like I would rather have something flavorless than have like a strawberry flavored anything. And I also don't like the smell of artificial fruit. So we'll see how I do with this. I feel like peach is less offensive. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna take one and we'll see how it goes. I do not like the taste of that. Not one bit, but you know, it doesn't matter because it's good for my health. So I'm gonna keep it up. These I think are berry flavored, blissful berry. <laughs> That's okay, again, good for my health. I can get through it. I can take three artificially flavored things a day. Actually, I feel like it's not even artificial. It's probably like natural, yeah, natural flavors, but whatever. The point is, it's not the actual thing and that's what I don't like. But anyway, that's that on that. Yay health. Hello, it is Friday evening and I just finished the work day. Michael is out of town. He left this morning to go to Virginia for a bachelor party. So it's just Scout and I for a mother-son weekend. I am about to take him on a walk to the park. Normally Michael takes him on his like late night walk at like 10 or 11 but I don't really feel comfortable doing that by myself. So I'm gonna take him right now and then I'll just take him out quickly to go potty before I go to bed. I'm gonna get stuff to have a self care night, a face mask, we'll see what else I can find. And then I think I'm gonna make chili because that'll probably last me through the weekend because I'm gonna get breakfast out tomorrow and then we'll see what I do on Sunday. But that's the plan, I'll take you along with me on my nighttime adventures. Let's go. I had the most relaxing night. I made chili and then I watched some TV and worked on some just like on the side social content for a friend's business. Now I'm obviously ice rolling. I did a face mask, washed my hair, I'm getting in bed and I'm going to read for a little bit. These nights are the best where you get to just like be by yourself, unwind and relax and just I don't know, decompress. We're gonna have a good day tomorrow. I'm gonna try to take Scout to Central Park by myself. Sometimes he gets a little bit 
anxious if Michael's not with us. So we'll see how that goes. Good morning, happy Saturday. Scout is dressed and ready to go to the park. Let's hope he is actually excited to go and doesn't freak out and lets me take him. But I think it's pretty cold outside. We're gonna see how this goes, I don't know. Say hi, Scout. <laughs> All right, let's go. We are back from Scott's walk and he did so good. He was so excited to go. He didn't give me any trouble in terms of actually getting there, but he pulled me so much, yanking me all over the place. My arm is going to be so sore tomorrow, but that's okay. He is just a big boy and he was excited, but he did good overall. I was thinking about going to the Met today, but I walked past on my way back from my walk and the line was so long and they posted too that they're expecting like a lot of capacity today because it's the end of one of their exhibits I don't know so I think I'm actually gonna scratch that idea it's also supposed to start like snowing sleeting raining this afternoon and honestly I'm just feeling the cozy vibes and I've been sitting here debating whether or not I wanted to force myself to go out and do something or not but I'm gonna be gone a lot of the day tomorrow, getting my hair cut, running errands, getting groceries, things like that. And I have not had a day at home by myself to just chill, watch movies, hang out in quite literally, I don't know how long. So I think I'm going to take advantage of it. Um, I ordered pancakes because I'm craving them, but I don't want to make them. So pancakes are on the way. I'm making coffee right now. The one thing I do want to do after I eat my pancakes is I want to run to Paper Source and get a new journal for the new year. I got one last year. didn't use it that much, but I want to be intentional about it this year. And I've just been finding myself wanting to like physically write things down over the last few days and I don't have a journal. So I'm going to go to Paper Source and do that. I do have great pins from last year that I can reuse but anyway that is the update on my change of plans I'm just gonna hang out with Scout which he's probably going to be super happy about those are the vibes I know that this has been a super super chatty vlog to kick off the new year but like I said earlier in the vlog next weekend we have a birthday party the weekend after we're flying to Charleston for a wedding the weekend after we have another birthday party it's Michael's um, so lots of fun content. I'm going to start going into the office next week. So things will get better and more exciting, but today we're going to chill. I'm back from my little outing. It is so cold outside. It's only like 31 and I feel like it's been <laughs> scout. Hi. You want to be in the video? Look. <laughs> anyway, it's only 31 and I feel like it's been so much colder in New York before. And like granted, 31 is cold, but it feels frigid. Maybe because I was in Texas for two weeks. I don't know. Anyway, so cold. So I'm glad that I am back inside for the day, except to take Scout out later. It started kind of like sleeting while I was walking home. So I'm hoping that we get snow soon and like, enough that it's pretty in the backyards but not so much that it like makes the front and like the streets and the sidewalks a nightmare okay went to paper source and i got a journal let's talk about my journaling journey here's the thing about me i hate writing i know that i'm a very good writer but i hate it because i am so overly critical of what i write and anytime I'm asked to write anything for work, I'm excited because I know I'm good at it, but I also get so anxious because I am so critical. That also applies to my personal life. I had a blog, but again, like the anxiety of writing something and then being so overly critical of what I write really gets to me. And I am just so incapable of shutting up, which is why I started this YouTube channel to begin with, because I'm much less critical of myself when I'm speaking. So all that to say, my journaling journey has been not successful thus far. 
Last year is when I really tried to get into it. I went to Paper Source on like January 1st and I got two journals. I got the anti-anxiety notebook, which I can definitely carry into this year. I honestly don't even know if I did any of them. I don't generally struggle with anxiety. What I do struggle with is my OCD and my OCD causes anxiety based on my OCD symptoms and triggers. So I don't have just like generalized anxiety, but I do have OCD. I hope that makes sense. It's like, yes, I have anxiety, but it's not just like general. So I got this book for when I have OCD flare ups and yeah, I didn't fill out a single page, which is kind of a good thing because that means that last year I didn't have OCD flare ups that were so bad that I feel like I really needed to. But also, I mean, it's just the fact that I simply put it in a drawer and I forgot about it. So we're gonna use that this year. Second, I got the best year journal. And I spent a lot of time in paper stores last year wanting to pick something out. And here's the thing. I'm not gonna show you the pages because obviously it's like personal journaling. It's a lot of writing. Like you have to do an entire reflection on the past year and then each day or week, I think it is. It's just a lot of like writing and reflection. And I have already talked about how I feel about writing. I don't like to write a ton, but I do want to get my thoughts on a page. All of this to say, this year, I got the viral five minute journal. I feel like this is exactly what I need to be able to write something down and have prompts and just be able to get my thoughts on a page without feeling like I have to write a novel about what I'm going through. This is perfect, so it's daily. I am grateful for what would make today great, daily affirmations, and then at night you do highlights of the day and what did I learn today? Simple, one page per day. I can do that, I can commit to that. It's gonna challenge me to start the day off on the right foot while also reflecting on the day at the end of the night and I feel really good about this. And that's consistent every day. There are no other prompts, there are no like, tell me your whole life story on a page situations. There's a place for notes in the back. I feel really good about this. I think I'm gonna be able to stick with it. You do it in the morning and then at night. And yeah, I'm sure probably half of you watching this have the five minute journal. If you do have it, let me know what you think and if you stuck with it. So these are the two that are gonna get me through this year, hopefully. Separately, I didn't intend to spend more money today, but I walked past Old Navy on my way home and they were having a 70% off, it said liquidation sale. I don't know if they're closing, but whatever. So I thought, okay, I'll pop in. If there's anything that catches my eye that I really feel like I wanna buy, I will, but I'm trying to be intentional about what I purchased this year and not make like sporadic in the moment purchases. And I'm also trying to continue to build out my capsule wardrobe and only get like basics that I can then accessorize with like newly or rent the runway. I did find one thing. It is this forest green long sleeve tee. It is a perfect weight. It's not too thick, not too light. I got it in a size medium. I didn't try it on, but I feel like it's gonna be fine. It's a, not cropped, but it's a little bit like shorter. So it'll hit like right at the waistband of like leggings or jeans. And it was $10. And I felt good about this purchase. Again, like basic color, can wear it with so much leggings, jeans. I'm actually about to throw it in the washing machine so I can wear it tomorrow to my hair appointment. And that was my outing. That's what I purchased. I'm not going to start the five minute journal until tomorrow morning or her honestly, maybe Monday because my appointment's super early tomorrow. But that's that on that. Now I'm going to can't decide if I want to read or if I want to watch a movie or TV, TikToks. We'll see. But I'm going to chill for now and hope that it starts snowing soon. I'll report back if it does. Sunday. I look rough. It is like 7 a.m. My hair appointment's at 8. I'm gonna quickly 
put on just a small, small, small amount of makeup and then get dressed and take Scout out and then go get coffee because that's going to be a mess for this early hair appointment. I don't know if I've said this in this video already, but I'm getting things and I'm so excited. And it, you know what? There's a good chance I hate it. And I'm being open and honest and admitting that. But there's also a good chance that I don't hate it. And that it's what I've been missing in my life. So, I have my inspo pics saved. We're going to try it out. And we're going to see how it goes. I also am doing all over color and going full brunette. I am out of my blonde era. I have to get things. It is drizzly and gross. It's not snowing and no snow stuck, which I guess I'm okay with because at least it's not gross. I did it. I got the bangs. I am still obviously getting used to them, but I think I'm obsessed. I don't know. I need to figure out how to style them. Ooh, not like that. And just in general, what to do with them. I can also like, if I don't want them in my face, there are options. Like I promise there are options. They're just a little unruly right now. Okay. But I got them and I'm so also, obviously got rid of all the blonde in my hair. We are now fully brunette and we have no grays. It is like, I don't know, 11, 1130. Um, and I haven't eaten today. I've only had coffee, so I'm very shaky. I'm going to go make breakfast and just chill the rest of the day, clean up a little bit, do some laundry and edit this vlog so I can post it. I will see you next week. Bye.